Tim Blanchett of Divorce661.com. Today we're talking about specifically filing a default uh, judgment, even though the parties uh, have agreed. So there are times when you want to do a default style case. This is where you file, serve your spouse, and, your, and the other spouse does absolutely nothing. One of the cases that we find this, is, this helps is if you have no property, you have no children, or limited property, and you can have children, but it's just easier if there's no children, and if, and if the property is separate property, is you can purposely do a default even if the parties agreed. I'll give an example of the client today. She came in, they had very little property. What property she did have was separate property, meaning it wasn't subject to division, um, and no children. And I was, the spouse was here, but didn't necessarily want to participate and said, I'll agree to whatever she wants. So we've strategically set this up. That's the word I was looking for. Strategically set this up as a default. He knew exactly what she was asking for in the divorce. He had no issues with it. So he chose to not respond intentionally. And we're going to allow this to go through default. Default, again, is where the party files, serves the spouse, and the other spouse does nothing, doesn't enter into a written agreement and doesn't uh, respond and does literally nothing. And that can strategically be done if the parties uh, are in agreement. And, or there's other reasons to do it, but we're specifically talking about doing this in a strategic way um, to either save money on court fees. Why should the other party file a response and pay a response fee, which is as much as $435? Um, why should he do that if he's in agreement with everything? So we sat down. We drafted the default, knowing it's going to be a default judgment, drafted the judgment, and we're going to submit that to the court, and everyone's happy. They're in agreement, but they're putting it through as no agreement to save some money, and so the other spouse doesn't have to be bothered with paperwork or be involved whatsoever. If you have any questions about when it's best to use a default uh, judgment or any other type of judgment, please give us a call. We'll be happy to help you with your divorce in California. Tim Blankenship, divorce661.com, 661-281-0266. Thanks for watching.